Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to do a video on the new power pack. This is the V 2.5. Um, completely redesigned, tons of new changes. And you can check out that video comparing the V 2.5 to the V 2 mm -hmm. and kind of all the changes in this. This video is just about the assembly of it. Uh, very simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and it's just going to mount on the back. You can mount it to an SPM 40 frame or really any other frame that fits it. Uh, but we're just going to go over the assembly here. So First, we can take a look at the motor. We can actually just kind of pop this out. This is a shipping box, so it's all nice and padded. We got, uh, you know, the main motor with the, the motor mounting plate. Um, the cool thing about this one is all new titanium bolts throughout, uh, lightens it up even more. We already have our wiring harness all built in and our connector to the battery. Um, and then the battery main power out and then our hand controller. So all this is controlled over CAN bus. Really cool stuff, um, allows a lot of new features. Um, and then we have our baggie of nuts and bolts. And then taking a look at the shipping box. So we have our standoffs here. So we have our two battery standoffs. Then we have our four uh, motor mount standoffs. And then we got these two little ESC mounting brackets, um, these four motor mounting plates, and these four little motor mounting standoffs. Um, we can take a look at some of these bolts here. So these four longer bolts are for the motor. We'll go into that shortly. Uh, we got our other prop bolts. So comes with some extra prop bolts with your prop plate hidden down in this slot. So we'll pull that in a second. Um, but first we're gonna go over the mounting. So we'll just kind of start building this out best we can. So we can cut our zip ties. Um, could be with or without zip ties here. It just makes it easier to pull out. We'll lay these out. So we got four of those. Uh, we got two of these. We'll kind of just lay all the hardware out. And four little standoffs. So um, we're just gonna build it out. It's kind of like a cooking show. We already have one built out in the back. Um, that's the one I fly regularly. Um, so we can kind of use that as a reference point and we'll show kind of how it mounts on there, but let's build this pack out. So the ESC is gonna go on the left side if you're looking at the back of the motor. And the first thing we can really do is just mount the ESC. It's, it's, it's folded up like this for shipping, um, but these holes here and here go thread right into um, this motor mount plate. So it just goes right over the mount top and we align those up and we'll put our M4 bolts right through. So we can go to our hardware baggie. We'll go ahead and get those out now. All right, so we got our two little M4 bolts here and we can go ahead and just put these through these holes here. Line it up, pretty easy. And we'll just get those threaded in. Then we'll go ahead and do the other side. All right, so we now got the two top. Now it's already starting to look like kind of how it's supposed to go. So we're gonna now add our four uh, little standoffs here to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our four little uh, flush mount bolts. We're gonna take one of our mounting plates here. And you can see how that works, it's just gonna slide right in. These are all the same so you can mix match them but they just need to go with this orientation. Slide this over top and put this on the hole. And we're going to do that for all four sides. Then we can grab our titanium, uh, this is M5, or is it actually an M6 uh, lock nut and we're going to put that on. We can just hand tighten it now and we'll grab our socket set. All right and then we're just going to keep doing those, building these little out, put them on put on this side. Start our nut on it. Pretty simple. Go do another one. Grab our 11 millimeter socket here and we're just going to get this to the point where it's somewhat tight and it just kind of acts like an X on the way out so it extends this base plate. We don't have to tighten up so much where you can't move it because we'll kind of adjust it later. Um, makes it easy to fit then. But we'll just Tighten these up until they're a nice little snug fit for now. 
All right, so now that we got those all loosely placed on there, we can adjust them a little bit later. We're gonna keep on building them out. So we're gonna get our ABS standoffs. Um, there's gonna be, on this side, there's two shorter ones, two of the shorter ABF standoffs go right here. And then on this side, two of the longer ones. There's four long ones total and two short ones. Um, so we're gonna grab the two short ones for right now. We can grab those first and they're gonna be placed right here. And then we're gonna grab our threaded ESC mounting plates here. And those are gonna go right over top on this. And then that bolt is gonna go through and just connect it all together. So we're gonna grab another one of those M4 uh, little bolts here. Put this through the front. You could really do this earlier if you wanted to. In fact, we don't even need that right now. So we can just we can even hand tighten this right here for the time being. Put that through there right now and just tighten that up. Again, this will be nice and parallel with those standoffs. So now we can grab our two shorter standoffs and they're just going to slide right between here. And then our bolt goes all the way through there and it mounts to our frame. So very simple. So now we're going to grab one of our longer bolts and do this side right now. Slide that through, up through the top. See, nice, Could be kind of a little bit friction fit, which is nice, keeps it there, it doesn't fall out. And then grab another one of our long bolts here. Do the same thing on this side. Take this, slide this up, put that right back there for now. And then just tighten this little M4 bolt right up. Again, these just can be hand tightened, and you can probably a little bit of Loctite if you want to. Um, but yeah, see those are all lined up now. And now what we want to do is inside your accessory bag, basically with the nuts and bolts, there's these little rubber washer pieces, and you can put those right on top, just on this ESC side, as this side has basically a little bit of a gap. So I'll just put them like that. So it'll look something like that. And now we can do the same thing, stand off to the other side, except it doesn't have ESC mounting. So that one is super straightforward. We just put our bolt in there and run it up through. And then we'll be done with the power pack. Very simple. Uh, take our long M8 bolts, put them through right over top. Super simple, put it right over top. And now we got a complete power pack. It's ready to mount to the back of the frame. Before I put it on there, there it comes with these four little felt discs and these are sticky and they go, are cut to size to fit right over top of these bolts. And that makes it so the battery is not uh, against anything metal, you, just to keep scuffs off the battery and make sure it uh, keeps your battery nice and clean looking. So we can take this off and apply this to the back right now and just line it up, apply to the back best we can. So now we got a nice little felt piece for the battery to slide up against. And we can do that for all four of these uh, basically flat back mounted pieces. All right, so now that we got our power pack all ready to go and mount to the frame, I just have a little frame section here. It's just the upper frame section of the s 40 frame. So easy to see where stuff mounts. There's nothing else on it. And these four, these four bolts on this power pack are gonna go right in the center hole. Right in the center hole here, here, and here. So those four M8 bolts mount right there. Super easy, take on and off. Um, we can kind of try to visualize it here. I'll sit right like that. And so we can take these two long M8 bolts and just line them up here. So let's just slide in there. Bottom will slide in there too. And we'll do the other side at the same time. So now, <laughs> really awkward. Yeah, normally you have the frame mounted like on the bottom. And you can adjust these, just because we didn't tighten these up all the way, they can be adjusted just to line up with those holes uh, a little bit easier. That way you don't need any like template or anything like that. So now that's what it looks like. And now we can go on the other side and mount the M8 nuts on the back side of it. All right, so we can just flip this over and mount this on the back side. So this will give you a good idea if you look from the top 
kind of what holes those pieces mount in. So here, M8 nuts can just go right on over top. These are lock nuts. They'll keep the bolts in place. You can take our socket and tighten those right up. You can give these a nice hand tighten. Probably not going to go much more. You don't have to wrench on them or anything crazy. Just go until they bottom out. And we'll do that for the remaining two on this side. So we got our power pack mounted on the back now. This ESC is on the left side. You could flip it around the other way if you really wanted to, um, but it's designed to go like this. The battery is gonna slide in, has a plug on that side. Um, so we got all those four points all mounted. We got our wiring harness through on the back side, so we can mount that and slide these through to the battery. Um, so that is basically it for the power pack. And we'll kind of go over some of the final little changes about this frame um, versus the old one and some new little uh, accessories kind of added in. And then we'll go through a, a quick first startup. And then the first thing I want to show you here that's kind of new is these little rubber pieces and they go right, they're basically, again, for the battery to make sure it's not rubbing on any metal or anything like that. They just push right in over top of this. Clip right in. And now you got a nice rubbery surface and a felt surface on this side. So we got four of these, we can do that for all of these holes that line up and down. That'll make the battery nice and snug and keeps, um, yeah, any scraping or anything, metal on metal contact. And then the next thing I wanna show, and this is, these are all little extra things. You don't have to do it, of course, um, but you can uh, definitely add them on. I have them on my unit. This is another little felt pad and you got four of these. And these just go around the standoffs like this. They're sticky. They go right on there, and that keeps the battery basically just on the felt. Um, and I can show you that on the other power pack, but it's really nice. It keeps the battery pulling pull in and out smooth, keeps any uh, shaking or noises down. And then the final thing I want to show you here, and this will come, you're going to have two different options of a hand controller. There's a right hand and a left hand. Um, new hand controller design, uh, completely redone. Uh, new case makes it a lot better feel than kind of the old 3D printed ones. So uh, I think big improvement, people like that. And then also the other thing people are asking for is uh, tighter feedback, harder tension when pulling throttles. Too easy before. Now there's an extra spring in there um, on top of this kind of, kind of completely new redesigned controller. It's also thinner, so it gives you more room for your brakes and stuff like that. And then also with each controller comes uh, another throttle lever. Um, and this just kind of for a preference thing. So a lot of people will like the straight one, but this is an extra option for people uh, who feel the comfort of this a little bit better for them. All right, so we can take this and I'll show you how that connects. This new connector, really nice. The old one was just pins, didn't lock in or anything like that. This is a waterproof kind of industrial connector uh, with the metal housing. So this only goes in one way. You can line it up and then you're gonna just thread this thing all the way in, and now you're good to go. You can't yank this apart, it's not gonna damage it. Um, and it's a really solid connector and you can take your controller on and off really easily if you want to. That's it for the power pack. We got the controller kind of laid out, everything adjusted pretty well. We can go over to kind of what it looks like on the final uh, version. This is a flying unit. Again, same things we just did there before. And we'll go through the first startup just to show you um, everything kind of powered up. What we can do first is just take the prop off. We don't need the prop on there um, for first startup. You can get an idea of arming, disarming, all without it. The motor can be run without a prop, so easy to do. This is the quick release. Still works with this motor. We got our battery pack. This is a large battery pack, and we'll slide it in. But before that, I do want to show you another uh, little feature set, and this is, again, to keep the metal-on-metal -metal contact down. So this is a little cushion, a rubbery cushion, that goes over the bottom of this frame and it goes over top these ABS connectors on the bottom and it goes over top these little cushion pieces here. And I'll show you one of these cushion pieces. So for the mounting to the bottom, again, you're gonna use your short standoffs. These are the shorter standoffs with your shorter bolts. And this bolt just goes through this rubbery cushion, sits on the back there, goes through the standoff and bolts to the back just the same way the other power pack does. But on top of that goes this uh, rubbery plate. And if you come down here, I'll show you a little bit more detail. 
So these uh, little holes in the back are going to catch on the back of the bolts here. So I'm going to put that on the back first. Just that keeps it locked in place. And then these just clip down. Um, so now you got a really nice rubbery flat surface. This keeps the battery from shifting around, um, shaking it all, and really locks it down. So now that we got that in, we can take our battery and slide it through the back. And again, no shaking, no noise. Try to really improve that as much as possible. And with those felt strips, that does that. We can just take our main power connector, plug it in. Then we're gonna take our communications plug to the BMS. This way our new hand controller can get all the information from the BMS live and it's very accurate. And then all we need to do now is flip on the main power switch. It says main power, it's just inside switch. Flip that on. And now our hand controller will boot up and show all of our information, right? Our motor does a little beep once it's initialized. And uh, you can see this battery one chill mode. You can see our altitude, all our power percentage, the lowest cell, the overall cell, all the temperatures, and any other warning info will show up here. But to arm it, uh, it's just a tap and a hold. It'll arm, it vibrates, gives me a little noise, and we get the blue bar now. So now spins up and you can see that I got that new lever on this version. I kind of like that it fits my hand better, but that's it. That's everything. It's simple. No motor warm up needed. Just check your battery before you go. And that is the new V2.5 power pack.